thanks for joining me on this whiz bang tour of Ban Tawai. Hello darling. Hello sweetheart. These, these friends are inseparable, they cannot be parted. Welcome to Bantawai. This is a, a unique village that sits in Hangdong. It's accessible because you can wander around and see so many things on a flat surface. The paving is not too bad. You can bring a wheelchair, you can walk in the shade and also there's some bright sunlight uh, areas but predominantly it's in the shade. The amount of stalls here, there are prob probably somewhere in the region of five to six hundred stall outlets. It's a huge place. You will never see the same things maybe one month after another. They change the predominant uh, objects that they sell. It's a fashionable type place whereby you'll see some shops selling the fashion object of the moment, whether it be a sculpture, whether it be an ashtray of a certain makeup, whether it be a stool with a t certain design. But this trendy style of the moment is mass produced and you'll see them here for export. You'll see them here to take one of this item home as a gift for somebody. Much of the items are too big to get in your suitcase. Pretty little entrance here. Let me walk you through and we'll see some of Bantawai. You can come here 365 days of a year. At the moment, there are no tourists here. So hurry, rush along here. It's very quiet. This little coffee shop has got many animals. There are cats, there are frogs, there are hippos. I think I saw a rabbit or two in there as well. There are chickens, of course. But the fact you get so many of them next to each other, uh, there's a nalak factor. There's a, a cute factor. Nalak is cute in Thai. This nalak factor is very attractive when you see a cat which is this big, next to a cat which is this big, next to a cat which is this big, and they're looking in a certain way, they've got a look in their eye. So cute, very, very cute. Something that's happened this week has been that I took Arnie and Natterporn to go over to Samung Road to Lana Rock Garden to see if we could pick up some fruit on the way. Good news is the lady at the side of the road that sells the fruit, she's okay, she was there. She said to us, the reason she wasn't there the day before was she was sleeping. Her son had just bought her a new mattress and she was sleeping so well, she didn't bother working. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, we went to Lana Rock Garden. This is going to be quite a, an experience for me. It's not going to be straightforward and easy but it's going to happen. I am so convinced of it. I'm committed to it. Something that I've wanted to do for a long time and now I am doing it. If you can tell me what it is I am doing, then I would appreciate it very much. Perhaps at the end of this video, you'd have realized what I have done. Perhaps you could leave me a comment below and tell me whether I have achieved my goal. Look at these wonderful buildings across here. This is one of the reasons I didn't bring Arnie with me last week. He just had his shower and was really nice and clean. This week, however, 
Natapawns come with me. And if he gets dirty, it's not my fault. The majority of this Bantawai village is for export. But there's also the footfall tourist that comes here and in high season you'll get double-decker buses lining the streets here full of tourists from all over the world. They will be coming here to buy their souvenirs to take home with them. They will come here for the pens, for the little things, the ashtrays, the ornaments that they can take home to be a gift to their family. Bamboo, fine bamboo work. This shop isn't bamboo orientated. Another lighting shop. Artists. Like paper mache. Predominantly, it's an outlet to advertise what is available that has been mass produced. It's a showroom. Now, a word of caution. These are not antiques. Some of them may look antique -y, and indeed, if you were to get them into uh, a foreign country uh, and it was the only item in the shop, somebody would say, oh, you could buy this antique for a lot of money. But in actual fact, it's modern and aged. It's modern because it's created this year, it's created this century. It's not our artifacts from previous days uh, of Thailand, of Siam, of history here in Southeast Asia. It is mass-produced stuff that's made purposely to look old. A lovely scene around a floating market. It's got a, an aerial view to it almost and the perspective is slightly side on here and then it becomes like a 45 degree angle here. Very, very interesting. And looking at these, these three little old ladies here, they're distributing their wares. One's got a hat on in the middle. And we come over to this side. Oh, there's the little scene here as well. So you can get, get an idea that a lot of this is carefully produced. There they are. Oh, that one's a nicer one. Oh, my dog, my dog bird fame. It might been like up. It might been like up. Oh, hen lay up. This is modern art by Toklana. Some stunning sculpture here. Some lovely colours. And the faces, the, the style of the eyes is very intriguing. You can see from the, the look of the faces there's some feeling there. They're not just another duplicate model. These are eyes that have some feeling. This is Doc. Uh, he's the artist and he's given each of these a name. They're actually cement. There's a lot of wire uh, and metal inside. Uh, they're, they're very rigid, they're quite heavy. And each of them has got a name. Uh, this is the inseparable couple, Flynn. which are friends. <laughs> these, these friends are inseparable. They cannot be parted. Uh, this one here, she's gonna, save, she's gonna save the world. This is saving the world. And this one here is sad. <laughs> and lonely. This is lonely. Wow, what a lovely, lovely display. I'm going to search the internet and find this guy's website and I'll put a link in the YouTube uh, description below and you'll see what else this guy's done and read a bit more about him. Fascinating artwork here. So in amongst a place that's got all of the multi... I'm looking a bit shiny now, I'm a bit sweaty here. Mm -hmm. 
so this uh, what would one call it a mobile a, re a relief uh, something that you hang from uh, the ceiling uh, from uh, from the rafters something you hang in your home even in your garden this is made of coconut husk These little lights, the coconut husk forms the light shade. Where would we be without a cockerel? Or an elephant for that matter. Now, a couple of weeks ago I was in Campton Market, in the flower market uh, on the north side of the town. I was showing you some orchids. And these here are orchids as well. But these are not real. almost as beautiful as the real thing. Check out the description above for the Camptian Market orchids. I was watching my videos recently, as one does. You check how you're doing, you check how maybe you can change, improve and deliver something. And I was fascinated when I was sat with a, a pencil in hand, a clean sheet of paper, and I wrote the words, er, uh, um, are ah, probably and as well and I did five bar gate counting for each time I said any of those throughout the videos I was stunned and in two minutes of chat to camera on a video I was going into 20s and 30s in most of them I hope you're noticing the impact that recognition has had on this video I switched it off. I've made a conscious decision to learn. I have actually taken out the chip in the back of my head that says ramble on and on and on and insert fillers into something that you are stringing together. Insert fillers into a line of conversation because you either don't know what you're going to say next and you're making it up as you go along or you can't quite think of that right word to say but what's more is you're thinking about punctuation when you write you actually write in a punctuated way you write a sentence you put commas and you put full stops you say things in a way that you hope people will read them a bit like poetry. And I've learned this last, I'd say a week only, I took the step of following a few guides online and understanding the use of breath and the use of a full stop. In American it's called a period, a pause, something to actually punctuate my vocabulary. So when I'm talking, I'm not talking with an er, I'm not talking with an and or an uh, 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 and, um, um, uh, I'm not actually including the filler. So today's video was about the third or fourth time I've taken video doing this because I've been testing myself and I've been stunned. A five minute video the other day at the rock garden didn't say any of those filler words once. I was stunned. So hopefully it's here to stay. Amazing. Leave me a comment below if you've noticed that difference. Leave me a comment below if you actually think it sounds a little bit better. Do you have trouble when you're speaking to camera? Maybe you talk to people in real life and you also uh, um, ah, a lot and people look at you and go why are you filling in why are you not just making a flowing conversation I'm enjoying it because in actual fact 
it's giving me the ability to start, go through what I'm saying and stop. Thanks for joining me on this whiz -bang tour of Ban Tawai. Hello darling. Hello sweetheart. Well thanks for being with me on this whiz bang trip around Bantawai. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please consider giving me a thumbs up if you did. Check the description below, you'll find some more details there and uh, some links about where this video or these clips were taken. If you've just joined, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I've been acknowledging new subscribers to the channel when they've let me know, so thank you for that again. If you like this video, please consider giving a thumbs up and always check the description of all my videos. You'll see some links there of where the videos are taken and a little bit more information about the content. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, be happy. Bye-bye.